Greetings, classic cinema TV fans. This is Jason Lockhart here with you once again, bringing you another Silver Screen Spotlight. Yes, uh, this uh, channel is all about brand new releases for physical media fans. So if you enjoy that type of stuff, first look videos and, and thoughts on uh, new releases, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We would appreciate it. Let's jump into this. All right, we just received two brand new releases from the good folks at MVD Visual. Uh, just yesterday, and uh, we're going to share them with you today. First looks. This first one is from Synapse Films. This is McBain. All right, we'll get it in the light. Uh, <laughs> to where the light don't shine on it. McBain. Uh, this is um, starring Christopher Walken. We ain't going to try it with Christopher Walken. Um, you know, impersonation. I can do some. I ain't gonna try Christopher Walken because that would stink really bad. So we're not gonna try it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Christopher Walken in a um, a film uh, set in uh, Vietnam during the Vietnam War. Uh, Robert uh, McBain, of course, Walken is a is rescued from the North. Uh, Vietnam jungles by a group of rangers. He expresses his thanks and gratitude, and the leader of the rangers uh, named Santos takes out a $100 bill, rips it in half, gives him half, and says uh, if you, if this ever this other half of the bill ever comes your way, you can repay me. Okay. Well, 18 years later, fast forward, um, the sister of Santos uh, comes to McBain with the other half of the bill and uh, wants to get revenge on those that have murdered her brother. And thus begins the epic war between drug lords and McBain. Uh that's pretty cool. Uh, and that's exactly what it says on the front cover. The drug lords have power, the money, the connections, but they didn't count on McBain. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Uh, so Synapse Films uh, brings us uh, this uh, 91 film um, in uh, uh, widescreen format and in a new 5.1 surround sound tra uh, soundtrack. Um, created specifically for this release, which is pretty cool. Uh, audio commentary, uh, theatrical trailer, and newly translated English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing. Uh, so this is going to be pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, uh, there is your disc for McBain. Uh, comes with a special catalog um, of all kinds of uh, additional um, releases from... Uh, uh, Synapse Films and all, so uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be an interesting film. I'm I'm looking forward to checking that one out. I've uh, actually never seen this one, so that's going to be fun to check out uh, for those fans of uh, war adventure films and uh, stuff like that. Films of like Rambo and and uh, Missing in Action and different things like that. People will love that one. All right, now for the big release. This is the one I was so excited for. Uh, people love Ultraman, right? It's just it's just a fact. Uh, American audiences love Ultraman. It's it just is. Um, I I don't know exactly. I, I well, let's be honest. Ultraman is amazing, but I I think it's um, people love the monster movies, and they really do. And there's something about those old kaiju films. I love the kaiju films, the films like Mothra and and uh, Godzilla and and all these. I mean, I grew up on those, uh, seeing the old reruns on uh, American TV and uh, watching those bad English dubs. Oh. They were so horrible, but in turn, they were so cool. I mean, I, I really did. I loved watching those old, uh, uh, you know, Japanese monster movies, kaiju movies, and uh, like Godzilla, and seeing the the locals going, Godzilla is attacking Tokyo. We must save Tokyo. But how? <laughs> you know, it was... It was amazing. It was it was so bad, but it was so much fun, right? Uh, I loved it. Uh, so that's why when uh, we begin to see the influx of new Ultraman, or not new Ultraman, but classic Ultraman 
coming to physical media on Blu-ray and DVD. It was so cool. And so we've been seeing that influx uh, of so much of these old films. The only sad problem uh, with the old Ultraman series is that we don't get that bad English dubbing. I really wish we got those. That would be hilarious, and that would be making these uh, releases so much better. But uh, we don't get that. But we still get the awesome events and the adventures of Ultraman. Okay, well, interestingly enough, uh, fast forward to the new There's a director thing. named Shinji Haguchi, and he has decided to bring a trilogy of new films uh, featuring these classic kaijus. Okay, so what we first saw was, a few years ago, was the release of Shin Godzilla. Okay, that was his take, uh, reboot, whatever, of Godzilla. Um, I should have brought that out. We have it in Classic Cinema Plus Studios here. I didn't even think of that until just now as I'm talking. But anyway, uh, I'll give you the cover. Here's the cover of Shin Godzilla. So as you can see, that is a pretty awesome looking uh, release. If you have Shin Godzilla in your collection, good for you. If you don't, you might want to check that one out. It is pretty amazing. I, I actually loved Shin Godzilla. Came with the um, with the bad English dubbing. Love that. Um, well, anyway, so what we have now is we have the next in the trilogy, which is Shin Ultraman. Okay, I know a little bit much <laughs> no I, but i love this this uh shin ultraman is the new release from uh the director shinji haguchi and this is from um cleopatra entertainment and mvd visual uh so awesome i love this it is amazing uh here's the inside cover there's the the disc if we can get it into where it looks right there we go there's your uh, the way the disc looks. Uh, pretty much the same artwork as on the front cover, but uh, still pretty cool. Uh, now, the interesting thing about this is, yes, we get the bad English dubbing. <gasps> yes, please, always. <laughs> uh, I love this. Okay, uh, but for those fans that are purest of uh, the, pu the pure film, uh, don't worry. The, uh, the Japanese language is the option with uh, the English uh, subtitles. So that is your, your main, but you do have the option for the bad English dubbing if you prefer. I prefer that. Um, so anyway, full disclosure here. Uh, we got this and, uh, of course, McBain in the uh, mail yesterday. And guess what I've already watched? Yeah, I, I didn't have a choice, man. I, I love that bad English dubbing. So I already checked out Shin Ultraman, uh, the second film of the, the Shin trilogy. I'm looking, so, oh man, I'm looking so forward to the third one. The third one is going to be uh, Kamen Rider. Uh, can't wait for that coming out, uh, I believe, next year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so that's going to be pretty cool. But uh, Shin Ultraman, already watched it, and wow, the action is absolutely spectacular. It is so cool to see the classic kaijus and, and, and the classic Ultraman fighting in these epic battles. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing. Oh, uh, Shin really, uh, Shinji, I should say. Uh, does such a great job. You can tell he has a true love for kaiju films, these kaiju films. And so this is this is amazing. So yeah, there you go. Uh, Shin Ultraman. We're going to have full written reviews of this one and McBain. I'm going to be watching Shin Ultraman again. That's how much I enjoyed it uh, before the full written review. Oh my goodness, it is so amazing. So anyway, I want to thank the good folks at MVD Visual for sending these two amazing releases to me. Oh, it is so awesome. I especially can't thank them enough for Shin Ultraman. That is so awesome to see now having Shin Godzilla and Shin Ultraman. Now all we need is, is, is Shin uh, Kamen Rider uh, to have the trilogy, and that's going to come down the line. But, you know, that'll be a great thing down the line. I can't wait to see it. Uh, man, 
just great stuff. So thank you, MVD Visual, for sending these my way. I will have full written reviews of both of these coming up very, very soon. Uh, so be sure to keep your eyes open to Classic Cinema Plus. You can get a full link below and uh, check out all that there. We got tons of reviews and stuff there. And uh, so, yeah, definitely go check it out. We want to thank you for joining me today. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for coming along for this ride. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. It helps out so much. And until we see you next time with another uh, first look uh, video or, or something else, we appreciate you joining. And uh, remember, if you want to see a great film, check out a classic. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.